If you're here, you're probably curious about Apple Notes, and this isn't the first video you've watched. But here's the thing, there are some game-changing habits Apple Notes experts use that most people overlook. Whether you're just getting started or you've been using the app for a while, these tips will completely transform how you organize, create, and get things done. Stick around and I'll show you exactly what the pros do and how you can do it too. Using Apple Notes for direct interactions. Apple Notes allows you to interact directly with certain types of content within a note, making it incredibly useful for quick actions. Here's how it works. First, if a note contains an email address, simply tap or select the email address. A quick action menu will appear. You can send an email directly using your default mail app. If you have multiple email apps installed, you might be prompted to choose one. If the email isn't clickable, just select it manually and choose the email option from the quick action slider. Second, if a note includes a phone number, tap or select the phone number. From there, you can call the number directly. Depending on your device and the contact type, options to send a text message or start a FaceTime call might also appear. If the number isn't clickable, select it and use the slider to choose the call or text option. Third, if a note mentions a date or time, tap or select the date, which is typically underlined. If the underline doesn't appear, go back to the note and approach it again. Once selected, you'll see options to create a reminder or add a calendar event. You can customize details like the title, time, and location before saving. Here's an organization and scheduling tip. Use notes to jot down informal to-dos like call John about the project. Later, when you're ready, use the built-in quick actions to schedule them as reminders or events without leaving the app. It's a simple way to stay on top of tasks while keeping everything in one place. It's worth taking a moment to fine tune the settings because for new users and even pros, nobody wants to face that dreaded moment of thinking, my notes disappeared. Take a look. Plus, whether you're syncing notes across devices, locking private notes, or customizing how things look, it all starts with the settings. Trust me, you don't want to skip this step. Let me show you how to configure it for maximum efficiency and peace of mind. So go to settings. Notes. In the note settings, you'll see a list of options and buttons to enable or disable certain features. The first thing you will see is the notes account section. Here you can add dot remove and enable or disable accounts for syncing notes. Most users save their notes on their iCloud account. So if you click that, make sure sync this iPhone is turned on. But in case you have Google Notes and want to sync those notes, you'll need to add the account here and ensure the notes toggle is toggled on. Just click add account, complete the process. And after adding the account, double check that the notes option is enabled. The most important one is the default account. Here you can choose from the accounts you've added in the notes settings to set one as the default account. Besides, if you go back and enable the on my iPhone account, it will be added to this list. So choose where new notes are saved. You can save notes to iCloud, a specific email account, or locally on your iPhone. Please be mindful of your choice. If you select a non iCloud account, those notes won't sync across all your Apple devices and won't be stored in iCloud. Make sure to choose wisely to avoid confusion, misplaced notes, or data loss. However, I always recommend beside the syncing to iCloud to archive notes, we'll let you know how. Stay tuned. For the rest of the list, we will go very quickly. In the main notes settings, you can also set a password to lock important notes, adding an extra layer of security to your sensitive information, adjust viewing options to customize the sort order, enable or disable lines and grids, and group notes by date. These settings help you stay organized and view your notes in a way that works best for you. App links help you to add relevant links to your notes when add quick notes from other apps, mostly usable with the quick note feature. Auto convert to tag, turn this on, and it will automatically change every word you type after the hashtag symbol into a searchable tag. It's a great one. We'll explain later how to use it the correct way. If Save to Photos is enabled, it will automatically save photos and videos taken in notes like Recipe to Scan to the Photos app. And from Access Notes from Lock Screen, you can decide to always create new note or resume last note if you prefer to open the notes directly while device is locked. For more security, turn this off to prevent access from the lock screen. With the homepage method, you can create a centralized hub for all your important notes, keeping everything organized and instantly accessible. It may take a little time to set up, 
but once it's done, it's a time-saving tool. Disclaimer. I came across this method online about eight months ago, and I believe it was from a page called Paper Something. Unfortunately, I can't recall the exact source. Credit goes to him, thank you for the inspiration, and apologies for not being able to reference you directly. So, you can easily link and categorize everything, personal, work, family, or anything else. Everything you need is right here in OneNote. Here's how you can create your homepage and start linking all your important notes. Open Apple Notes and create a new note. Title it, homepage, and pin it so you can always find it easily to link any note. Press and hold anywhere. The quick action slider will appear. Select link note option and a new window will open where you can type the tile of the note you want to link or attach. Alternatively, type form the keyboard the angle brackets icon to open the search results. Start typing the name of the note you want to link and select it to add it to your homepage. As you add links, categorize them based on relevance, work, family, personal, etc. This will help you find what you need at a glance. Continue linking the notes you need and organizing them as you go. The more notes you link, the more powerful your homepage becomes. Podcast Journal. Podcasts are great to listen to when you are occupied with something else and just need white noise in the background. But sometimes you come across an interesting piece of information in the podcast that you instantly want to save. Well, Apple Notes is once again here to save your day. Apple Podcasts now comes with a live transcript, which you can select copy and add to an existing note. The way I do this is by first selecting the text from the transcript of the podcast and copying it. Then I go back to the podcast player tap on the three dots and select share episode from the share menu that pops up. I choose notes app and choose my podcast folder that I created for all my podcast highlights and then simply paste the selection to a new or existing note of that podcast channel. Another amazing feature, book highlights. This is something I never thought notes could do, but it does. Apps like Readwise help you sync all the highlights from your eBooks from Kindle and other services like Apple Books, Kobo. But these are subscription-based services. However, I found a workaround for those who want a free alternative to keeping a record of all their book highlights. Here's what you do. Open a note. Tap on the paperclip icon. And choose Scan Text. This opens the camera's viewfinder on the bottom half of the screen. Point it at the book you are reading, whether it's a paperback or a Kindle ebook. Tap the live text icon on the bottom right corner of the viewfinder, or selectively choose the text you want to highlight and it will appear in your note. You can also use it the standard way. Scan printed or handwritten text directly into the Notes app and edit it later. <laughs>